Hello my friends, today we are going to edit this image of this dragonfly. We will edit it in Luminar Neo and we'll take this image from this RAW file and to this image before and after. Let's see how we will do that. Really quickly I wanted to show you, I shot this with my Sony A1 and with the 90mm macro lens, 1 to 100 of a second f9. And let's take, I'm going to take this first into Photoshop and then I'll go on Luminar Neo from there and I will show you exactly why I want to do that. Command E to send the image into Photoshop. And then here, the reason why I want to end up in Photoshop is because I want to remove some really harsh highlights that is on the face. So, but the main edit, it will be in Luminar Neo. To do so, I will first duplicate my layer. I always like to make a copy and then I will go to filter Skylum Luminar Neo. Now with the image open into Luminar Neo, I want to go to edits and go to tools and we'll start from the top to the bottom. We'll start and develop and the first thing by looking at this image is under expose. So I have to increase exposure. I'll go pretty high, something like, you know, 086 something like that. I also want to add a little bit more contrast, not too much, maybe like 14. We'll start with that, see where it takes us. I'll bring down the highlights a little bit, maybe negative 44, 45. And then the shadows, I want to completely open them, so I will go to 100. Moving on into the black and white. For the white, I want to add some white. And let's see, 28, that looks good to me. And for the blacks, I will bring them down just to create a little bit of contrast. Not, I don't want to get it too dark again, so negative 12, that looks great. I think we are done with develop for now. And moving into enhance, I do want to add some enhance. Something like that. And then maybe add a little bit of structure. Just to, you know, make those details pop. 21, that looks good to me. Uh, we want to go into color. I will add some vibrance. Nothing too crazy. Plus 26. And I like that. Now, let's see. Do I want to make the greens a little bit more green towards blue? I'll go to the hue and I will take the greens just a little bit more towards cooler side. Something like that. I want to bring out his eyes a little bit, so I will go onto luminance and I'll take the oranges up, maybe to 40. And I like that. I do have some sensor dust spots, so I will go to erase and remove dust spots. We remove the dust spots, we still have this little spot over here, so I will just take my erase brush click on it and say erase and that took care of that now I would like to maybe increase the exposure a little bit on his face and for that I will go to develop I'll take a masking and I'll take a radial gradient and place it right on the head something like that and with the adjustments I will maybe increase the exposure a little bit Let's see. Oh, I forgot to invert it. You know what? We'll decrease the exposure to darken everything around it. Not too much. Maybe negative 50 around something like that. I'll even bring the highlights down a little bit. And that will create like a vignette. This is the before. This is the after. Before and after. We'll get out of the develop and then we'll go back and develop. And this time we'll use the same radial gradient, but we have to make sure we invert it. Because if you're not familiar with masking what is red, that's where the effect is going to happen. So I have to invert it. And now in the adjustments, I want to increase the exposure to bring out the details. Maybe up on the shadows to a little bit more. Go to color, maybe even add a little bit of saturation. Something like that. The exposure might be a little bit too much. Bring it down a little bit. All right, that looks good. 
and I like the way it's looking but I do not like this harsh highlight so that's what I want to go now and fix into Photoshop so I will let's see the image this is the before this is the after before and after I do like the way it looks I think it has a lot of depth everything looks great and uh, I just wanted to apply all the changes I've made and then into Photoshop I'll take care of those highlights great here are we are in Photoshop I will flatten this image I like the result and now let's take care of these harsh highlights so I will go and do, use this patch tool see if we can fix it with this I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and first I want to fix this highlight over here so I'll just select it with my patch tool and just move it over and let's see command D and that looks good I will do the same thing over here sometimes you have to take a smaller size I think my size might be too big command D that doesn't look bad let's see if I can do this portion no that was not good command D I do want to fix this portion over here maybe a little bit over here and I keep picking samples where there's no harsh and here I think I'm just gonna use the clone stamp tool I'll use the clone stamp tool I'll make sure the softness it's at zero and now I'll just sample from here just fix a little bit of this side something like that now we have doubled the line here I need to fix that so there we go and that looks all right I do want to smooth that part so you don't see that I manipulated there we go that looks better maybe I'll fix this part over here that looks great I will get rid of this part maybe this brighter side over here this one I'll use the patch tool for this little patch over here so it's a combination between the patch tool and clone stamp tool and now for these little dust spots I will just use the spot healing brush tool make a small brush let's go a little bit more zoomed in and I will just paint over it and this usually works pretty well just need to clean our bug make sure it looks nice there we go maybe take care of this spot over here anything that is distracting I do want to remove let's see a few spots over here just cleaning it out there we go and that is looking better nope that one didn't work we'll clean this spot this white spot and everything is looking nice command zero to fit to screen and now I want to remove the noise because it does have some grain into it and let's see I will do command J to duplicate my layer and then I'll go to filter uh, topaz and topaz denoise now into topaz denoise I will keep both of these uh, models on auto and let's see how it handles the noise maybe I will zoom in at 200% just so you can see it on YouTube with all the compression this is the before this is the after you see how nicely it removes all that noise there's before this is the after before and after it even adds a little bit of sharpening let's look at the eye so this is the after before and after look at these little cells into the eye before and after before and after so I like that I'll click apply and now the way they noise it I will flatten my image again and this time I think 
I think we need to add a little bit of sharpening, so I will duplicate my layer again, Command J, and this time we'll use a filter, we'll go to Other and High Pass Filter. I do not want to add too much sharpness, but I do want to add some, so I will put my little square on the eye, I want to make sure the eyes are sharp, there's no halos, and a radius of 2.2 seems to work really well for, well for me, so click OK, and I will change the blending mode to Overlay. So if I zoom in now into 100% and turn this layer on and off, this is the before, this is the after. Look here into the eye on the top part. So this is the before, this is the after. Before and after. Command 0 to fit to screen and I do want to add a black layer mask over here, hide everything, so hold down option while you click on the layer mask. And then with the layer mask selected, B for the brush. Now I have a brush, white paint, and just sharpen the parts that are important to me, which is the head of the dragonfly. So there you go. My flow is only a 6%. Make sure you're at 100% and 100% opacity. And this is our final image. Very happy with it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.